Hello everyone, and uh, this is Mr. Rege. On this uh, second part of the uh, video lesson for Art Gallery project, I'm going to demonstrate uh, what I missed in the pre previous uh, video. I, I thought that I recorded uh, everything uh, about the roof. Apparently, I'm going to demonstrate the roof part uh, this in this video. And uh, to do that, also, there are a couple of things I want. Uh, there are some uh, construction lines that needs to be erased or that anything that you don't care anymore, you don't need to use it, delete it, is, is considered uh, the uh, part of the very important part of the professionalism. And the construction lines, we always delete them afterwards, and including the rectangles and dimensions and everything because we use them only to construct the walls and the building and finally uh, we, the, we, that you are done get rid of everything because uh, this is going to be confusion cause for the confusion so um, how do we do the roof and roof also supposed to be curved we decided to do the roof curved and the uh, interesting part of it is is that the a roof curve requires a special reference line, okay? And where do I find the reference line? Uh, I go to architecture, I'm looking for, uh, I click on the architectural tab, and I'm looking for the reference plane so that computer shows me an elevation, okay? Uh, I need a longitudinal elevation, I, uh, not ordinary elevation that I can kick up Okay, from, from my menu, the project browser menu on my right. But I need a longitudinal elevation. So for that, I need the reference plane. If you move your cursor after selecting architecture tab, if you move your cursor to the top right-hand corner, go to reference plane and click on it, okay? And then you're going to find out that computer allows you to draw a reference plane uh, from outside of the building to the outside of the building, okay? So click here and you go through, you pick a plane kind of like that, okay? All right, so reference, as soon as you create the reference plane, it shows you a label saying that click, click to name it. So do that, click the name, click to name it. Computer shows you another screen to type you the name of them, okay? So this particular reference plane is I'm, I'm gonna call, um, North face. <laughs> so North face. I called it North face and enter. Okay. So North face became the name of the reference plane. Okay. So that this is done. Uh, what else do I need? Um, escape, of course. Okay. Once you generate it. And the uh, reference plane is still there. Escape. And move your cursor over uh, where you might find, okay, the direction. Okay. See those uh, pointers, the markers, okay? And you want to look at the reference frame from that point of view. So double click, double click the left side, okay? the triangle and it will show you more or less uh, what it looks like okay and uh, basically the roof is like this okay however uh, as a matter of fact you can make the roof a little bit more shaded and good looking and so on and so forth and uh, from here you can just change that uh, realistic perhaps in some cases Or, or shaded or with consistent colors or you can just simply select the shaded okay um, apparently there is a disconnect between roof and the and the walls so what you need to do select the wall okay and then select it move your cursor over to the top to the ribbon on the top right hand corner attach top base and then select the roof. Huh. See, 
automatically computer attached your uh, wall okay and then do the, just this again select the wall and select the attached top base and select the roof again for every single wall you need to do this okay attach the top base and then select the roof computer automatically does the uh, adjusting the height of the wall to the roof okay and then after you select every single time yes we need to do that and again select the wall and attach top face and select the roof select the wall attach the top face and select the roof okay and this is certainly is the one view okay and save control s for save And you can do the same thing here as well on, on each side. And I think most of the walls are taken care of already. All right, so if you're missing anything, All right, this is it. And uh, this is the part that we missed it of recording uh, in the first video. And uh, again, thank you very much for your time. And I think we just uh, simply generated uh, pretty much everything. And we, I meant to generate it. And, and let's take a look at this uh, in a different, with the realistic, more realistic view. Okay. This particular wall, for some reason, it did not come out. I expect it. I'm going to look into it and see if I can uh, improve that. Okay. This is it, and uh, thank you very much for your time, and apparently uh, this is how you create the curved walls and the curved roofs. And thank you very much for your time again. Have a great day. And call me if there's any problem or if there's any issues that is not going your way. Uh, let me know about it. I probably can help you a lot.